Today, um, we are going to be talking about Arbor Day, and we have a special guest with us who will join us in a few moments. His name is Joe Bennett from ITC, and we are going to talk about our Michigan Science Center um, ECHO program as well. Um, Michigan Science Center inspires uh, nearly 300,000 students every year with our STEM programming. We are the STEM hub. We bring some cool educational programming to the Detroit area, as well as expanding throughout Michigan with our traveling science program where we travel physically to different schools and different places throughout Michigan, as well as our distance learning program like you see happening today, where we do some free webinars and we also have some opportunities where we can virtually come into your classroom just like you're seeing happening now. Uh, we have an amazing 4D Toyota Engineering Theater and some live stage shows that you can come down and see. And there's a many different ways, dozens of different ways you can actually customize your visits as you come to the Michigan Science Center. And in just about a minute, I'm going to bring on our special guest that we have with us today, Joe Bennett. He is the Vice President of Engineering at ITC, and he is going to talk to us a little bit about electricity and engineering and how that is connected with trees. I'm happy to be here with you all today and talk a little bit about what ITC does and our relationship with the electric utility and the environment and how the two, how the two work together in sync. Um, just a little bit about who ITC is first. So ITC is the nation's largest independent electric transmission company. You can see there on the, on the graph, what electric transmission is, is that the wires in between the generators that you see there on the left, uh, generators being coal plants or natural gas fired plants or nuclear plants. Nowadays, we're seeing a lot more wind power, windmills and solar energy. So all those are forms of generation. ITC takes that generation and it, and it moves it over long distances throughout the state of Michigan and some other states that we operate in as well. And we deliver that power then to the local distribution companies who then take that power and deliver it to your homes and the schools that you're at today and your parents' businesses and whatnot. So, so we do have some questions for you, Joe, from our chat. Again, um, just talking about those few slides that we had up. Uh, the first question asks, uh, how do windmills produce electricity? So everything produces electricity kind of the same, same way. What it basically does is the spinning motion of the windmill turns, turns a, uh, a generator and it produces, produces the electricity through the generator. So just like any other power plant, it's all a, a spinning motion that creates the electricity. So a windmill, just like, like a coal plant or, or a gas plant um, or an engine for that matter, producing the electricity or the energy from, from the spinning action. So let's talk about um, trees and power lines and how they, how they interact. So trees and power lines are really a very dangerous combination. Trees can interfere with the transmission line and, and that is a leading cause of, of outages, power outages that we have. And they can also um, cause a significant threat to the public if they come in contact with a power line. So although I, I love trees, trees near power line is is not a good thing and so we really try to manage the types of trees that are that are in and around our transmission lines because nobody wants you know power outages we want our computers to work we want our tvs to work our game systems to work and it all takes electric power we have a program we call right tree right place and it's a it's a way um for for us to basically get out in the community and explain to people, you know, what is a good good tree to plant in certain situations, because we all like trees, and they are, as you were talking about earlier, they're very good for the environment. Um, I saw some some people answer, you know, their habitat for for animals, and it's all they're all very good, and we we love trees. They provide shade for our houses, so that we don't have to use as much electricity to to run our air conditioner but we just need to be mindful of where those trees are located and make sure that they're not interfering with the transmission lines. And we have a team of foresters that know their trees and understand their trees, which honestly is another STEM, STEM related career, science, science related career that may interest people, but they understand trees and what trees are the right trees to be planted in different scenarios and different situations. So, and again, under the Right Tree, Right Place program, um, we try to educate 
educate folks. We have a team of environmental uh, folks here that 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 manage help manage our corridors and manage um, the environmental aspects of what we what we do here. So, you know, as I mentioned earlier, we are all over the state with our power lines. So we are in rural areas, we're in suburban areas, um, farm fields, we're in, in the woods, we're all over the place. And so kind of working hand in hand with the environment is very important for us and we have to coexist with, with the environment. So we have environmental engineers that that understand understand that and and work with work with our surroundings the best we can thank you so much for joining us today Joe we were so happy to have you here and answer all these questions and for all the information you provided with us we'd like to also thank ITC for helping fund our amazing distance learning program and bring programs like this into your classrooms we're hoping to do these monthly so you can go on to our website at www.mi-sci.org echo to learn about new and upcoming webinars that we have or some programs that you can get directly into your own classrooms um, if you would like more information about anything you heard today about itc here their website is over here and their phone number is also at the bottom of the screen to share so again thank you so much for um, joining us joe it was a pleasure having you here Thank you. Pre appreciate the, the opportunity. It was fun.